you like some hot tea or brandy? No, 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 thank you. I'm fine. Julia, one thing that's been bothering me. According to Flora's note, you were apparently pretty much near death. How do you account for this incredible recovery? I don't know. I'm just glad I'm alive. So am I. At least you may be able to help us now that uh, you know what it is, perhaps. Uh, to I'm be able to end these attacks. I know what? But you know what attacked you? No, I, I don't, actually. How's that possible? You must have been able to see. Well, it all happened so quickly. I, I, I lost consciousness almost immediately. Julia, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm still weak, but, but I'll be all right. Then you know it's all over now. Yes. What's over? Randall, what do you know about this? Haven't you told him? No, I thought it best not to tell anyone. Now, listen to me. One of you, tell me what's going on. Julia was attacked by a vampire. The vampire was Roxanne. Barnabas then left the crypt with Trask, and I waited for Roxanne. And when she arrived, I prevented her from reaching the coffin. Then it was the light of day that destroyed her. Yes. Roxanne, a vampire, killing people like an animal. Someone had to make her do that. Someone has to be responsible. Yes, and whoever it is is still at large. Do you have any idea where Barnabas is? No, I, I saw him last with you, leaving Rose Cottage. Why? He took Trask back to the old house and locked him in the cellar. In the cellar? To keep him away from Roxanne. Trask was also her victim. Now, I can understand Barnabas feeling it necessary to lock him in the cellar. But then he went away and left him there all day. Why? Oh, Barnabas probably thought he had a, a, a good, was a good idea. But he knew that when the dawn came, the spell would be broken, Roxanne would be dead. I just don't understand why Barnabas couldn't stay there until it was over. I, I don't know. But why don't we go and, and get Trask out of the cellar now? That's what I came here for. Quentin, do you have an extra set of keys to the old house? No, Barnabas gave me the only extra keys. I'll go with you and open the cellar. Jerry, I think you ought to stay here. You're still pretty weak. Oh, no, I'll be all right. Besides, if Barnabas is back, I'd like to talk to him. All right, if you think so. Randall, tell me, who else uh, knows about Roxanne? Only Flora and Trask. Why? Well, I don't think anyone else ought to be told, especially Samantha. Yes, I don't think Samantha should ever know. Julia, whenever you're ready. Perhaps I'm... Perhaps I'm imagining this. No, my ears are not deceiving me. I'm in command of my faculties. I know what I'm hearing. Who is behind this wall? Answer me. So then Julia doesn't know what attacked her either? No. But apparently she feels well enough to walk around. Let's just hope that she has time to think things over and then she may be able to give us some help. I hope she does. Yes. Tell me something. Quentin. What? While you were gone, I had time to think things over very carefully and... and I've reached a conclusion. And what conclusion have you reached? Quentin, I think we'll both have peace of mind only if I leave Collinwood. No! Absolutely no, my, out of the question. My staying here is only making matters worse for both of us. Now, you us. listen to me. If you go anywhere, believe me, I'll follow you wherever you go. No, no, you've got to stay here. Your place is here in this house. Daphne, believe me, my place is with you. I know that now. And I feel it deeper than I've ever felt anything in my life. Oh, Quentin, don't you see? It's wrong for me to stay here. That's what Joanna was trying to tell me in the note. Joanna didn't write those notes. 
I think someone alive wrote them, and for a reason we cannot understand. How could we possibly find out? Perhaps Joanna can help us. Quentin, Joanna's dead. It's possible that she can help us if we can reach her. I don't understand. How? We're going to try and communicate with her tonight. How, Quentin? The only way you can reach the dead. You and I are going to conduct a seance tonight. something wrong? Yes, very wrong indeed. There is someone behind that wall. Someone behind the wall? What are you talking about? Mr. Trask, you're wrong. That's part of the basic construction of this house. And I tell you, I heard noises coming from behind that wall. What kind of noises? Well, first, there was a rattling of chains, and then a low, painful moaning. I don't hear anything. Do you, Randall? No, nothing. Well, I don't hear it now either. It stopped when the two of you started down the stairs. But I know what I heard. And I'm telling you, if you tear down that wall... This is an old house. It might be very dangerous to tamper with that wall. Is there some reason you don't want us to look behind that wall, Miss Collins? Do you know what's behind that wall? Don't be absurd. Now, this is no time for the two of you to start quarreling. Besides, we have more important things to attend to. Now, nothing seems more important to me at the moment than the strange goings-on in this house. In that, I'm in total agreement with you. Randall, I don't know what you mean. Julia, your brother has a lot of questions to answer for me. I find his behavior in this entire matter very strange indeed. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, Barnabas knows more about the knowledge of vampires than he is willing to let on. He took one look at Lamar here and knew that he had been Roxanne's victim. He knew if we followed Lamar, he'd lead us to Roxanne, and he knew exactly what to do to put Roxanne to rest. I'm sorry, Randall, but I don't find that in the least suspicious. I mean, by your reasoning, if a man puts out a fire, then he's guilty because he knew how to put it out. There's one other thing, Julia. Just before Roxanne died, she cried out for Barnabas. She said that he was the only person who could help her in that moment. Now, what did she mean by it? She was under his spell. I told you that before. I knew it from the night she was stricken. Roxanne and my brother were in love with each other. It is not unusual if you are dying to cry out for the person that you love. I do not believe that she was in love with him. I agree with you, Randall. There is something deeper and far more serious to Roxanne's dying words. Perhaps your explanation is valid, Julia. And then again, maybe it isn't. I know that I shall not be satisfied until I have some answers to my questions from Barnabas Collins. He still has a lot to answer. We must touch hands. And we must maintain contact throughout. Understand? Yes. We seek the spirit of one who is known to each of us. One whom both of us loved in our own way. We beseech the spirit of Joanna Mills to appear to us or to communicate through one of us so that we may resolve all of the problems that have afflicted all of our lives. Joanna Mills, appear to us or give us a sign. We call upon you to appear to us or give us a sign. Joanna, you heard us. Please, please help us to resolve the mystery that has so burdened our lives. Speak to us. Speak to us. Try and contact her again. No. 
No, she doesn't want us to. And how do you know? I know because she would have stayed. Why didn't she speak to us? She came. Isn't that enough? Doesn't that tell us what we wanted to know? But you know how I feel, all cold inside, as if I were dead, too. No. Because I know now, Quentin, I, I know. Daphne, you know that I love you. Yes. And that you love me. Yes, I love you. But I can't stay in this house, Quentin. Joanne will never be at peace as long as I'm here. You're wrong. You're wrong. Do you think that she wants us to be miserable? Do you think that she's so vindictive that she wants neither of us ever to be happy again? Together? Yes, I do think that. You're wrong. I need you. You're the only person in this house I can trust. follow you, you know that. Quentin, Joanna. Somehow we'll find a way to bring her the peace that she deserves. Believe me. How? I don't know, but I'll find a way. You just tell me that you're going to stay. Please, tell me. Quentin, will you promise me that we won't see each other alone? You really want that? No. But I can't bear thinking of Joanna. I can't bear thinking that when we're together, we draw her from her grave, Quentin. Now, you have to promise me that, or I can't stay. All right. But it's going to be very difficult. So difficult. It's going to be difficult for both of us. journal I asked you about. The diary you said you had never seen. Yes, I found it the other night on the table down in the hall. I was just coming back from Roxbury. I attended to some business there. Uh, I was meaning to ask you about that. Flora accepts that kind of excuse. I don't. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to, Desmond. We'll see. Are you threatening me again? Asking me to leave Rose Cottage? This time, I intend to do more than that. Oh, well, I wait with incredible anticipation for it. You won't have long to wait. Desmond! May I finish reading that? Sorry. I hate not to finish what I've started. This time, imagine the rest. Good evening, Flora. Gerard, how nice to see you. Did you have a good trip? Thank you very much. I see you've been writing again. Uh, people tell me that you've been working rather hard. Up here all by yourself. Now you must take care, you'll tire out. Oh, I can't help it, Gerard. I found such an exciting new subject. Hmm? Vampirism. Oh, why vampirism? So much has happened while you've been gone. Roxana came back from the dead as a vampire. I don't blame you for being shocked. You can imagine how we all felt. But she's at peace now. Barnabas helped Randall find her, and he put her to rest. Poor boy. How, how did, awful it must have been. How did Barnabas get involved? Through Julia. Roxanne attacked her and was keeping her hidden. Barnabas tracked her down. Oh, this is going to be my most exciting venture. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be just brilliant. But you know, Flora, really should relax more. You put so, so very much of yourself into it. Look, by the way, have you, uh, have you seen Desmond at all? 
Well, yes, he was here just a few minutes ago. He put something away over there and then left. Oh, I used to worry about Desmond. Yes, I can imagine. I'm sure you've noticed the aimlessness of his life. Yes. He should have studied law after he got his degree. Yes, I'm sure he could have been quite successful. Uh, Flora, do you have a key for this? Isn't it there? No. I uh, put one of your books in there. I was rereading The Call of the Wild Goose. Oh, yes, that's one of my better ones. Mm -hmm. Desmond must have taken the key. How strange. Well, I have another copy upstairs. No, 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 no. Just relax now. Just relax. And I, I shall wait for Desmond's return. I know, Gerard. You think Quentin Collins has become an obsession with me. But his continued defense of Barnabas incriminates him, too, in the death of Roxanne. Barnabas and Quentin are involved in the ways of witchcraft together. Together they do the work of their master, Lucifer. And together they will try to destroy us. But why would they use Roxanne as a vampire? To destroy their enemies for them. I was one of the first victims. Yes, Gerard, she attacked me. But Barnabas is responsible for her destruction by Randall. Only because she disobeyed them and attacked Julia Collins, Barnabas' sister. But they will seek other ways to try to stop us. So we must strike the first blow, Gerard. A blow against Barnabas and Quentin. But especially Quentin. Why especially Quentin? Remember Lorna Bell. Remember the mark on her forehead. It was the mark of the devil, remember it? Think carefully. Have you ever seen that mark before? Uh, yes. It's on Quentin's ring. Exactly. 